All right, weather for the weekend. You've seen the last couple of days. <laughs> You've seen what's coming. Yeah, Tony, go ahead and lay, hit us with it later on. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to have some rain. There's no doubt about that. But it's not an all weekend wash. Hey, well, another look now back uh, towards uh, the coast here where uh, we had that liftoff again. Sonic booms again. The Mach 1 is 750 miles per hour. The object coming back down to space is traveling at a much faster speed than that. That's creating that sonic boom. Did you hear it over towards the coast? We didn't hear it at West, too. Just curious. Uh, email us and uh, let us know or text us or uh, get us on Twitter. Twitter is a pretty good place. I know that the summer's a big fan of that Facebook thing. Uh, here's what we've got going on. There's our little spin, a little area of low pressure up towards Jacksonville. Got a couple showers south and east of Brevard County. But boy, man, where it came down today, it came down. Altoona, 3.79 inches of rain. Indian trails. 3.77 inches of rain, Matanzas Woods subdivision, 2.43 inches of rain, Marineland, 2.18 inches of rain. The list goes on. Center Hill, Leesburg, Miko, Okahumka, all doing very, very well underneath those heavier downpours. Now, out the door to your Saturday morning, you're walking the dog, getting around a Tennyson. You're in good shape by uh, early to mid afternoon, though. Here come those showers and storms again. And if you're underneath those heavier ones, uh, you're going to do very, very well in the rainfall department. So here's a look at future cast here. Quiet to start, as mentioned, uh, by about the noon hour, the first hint of some showers and storms developing. Watch how this comes together here a mid to late afternoon along and west of I-4. And then as we work our way on into Sunday now, notice the flow uh, coming in from the west-southwest, a little upper level disturbance kind of rotating on in here. And you can see once again, numerous late day showers and storms. And when you take a look at the two day the rainfall totals here, just like today, there's going to be pockets of uh, two, three and four inches of rain in some of those slower moving late afternoon thunderstorms. Temperatures at the beaches right around the 90 degree mark. Inland areas 92 to 94 before the showers and storms get going. Flag of the beach 9 a.m. You're at 82. You'll have the showers and storms keeping your temperatures below the 90 degree mark. If you headed to the attractions, get there early because by the noon hour and on, we'll have those showers and storms developing. Taking a look at early next week, the front kind of stalls out. Up to our north, another little tropical wave may try to advance our way and weaken, uh, but it will bring the chance for some showers and storms as we get to the late Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, tropically speaking, here's Invest 96. Now has a 70% chance of developing over the next seven days into a uh, at least a TD, if not more than that. A lot of the computer models have been very consistent of the la over the last 48 hours, taking this east of Bermuda. That, thankfully, has not changed. Here's a look at the GFS and Euro side by side. The reason for the turn to the north and east, an unusually strong cold front coming off the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. So that's a, a friend of ours. And let's hope that pattern will continue on into the month of August. All right, seven-day forecast, plenty of rain around this weekend into Monday, getting back to normal by the middle of next week.